Roberts here with more South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Um, I will say this. The Reagan doctrine worked in Afghanistan and Nicaragua. Uh, the Trump doctrine is a little different because the weaponry is way more sophisticated right. and modern technology allows yeah. buttons to be pushed from anywhere in the U.S. And we can hit any target we want with pinpoint accuracy. And that's how he beat the caliphate, took out Soleimani and, and Baghdadi. But the Reagan doctrine is working here, but I think we need to ratchet up the, the weapons of defense that Ukraine needs. Right. Well, here's what's not working, the Biden doctrine, which is to withdraw completely from Afghanistan, leave the place, abandon, give up Bagram Air Base and allow the Taliban to be back in power 20 years after 9-11 with ISIS and Al Qaeda growing in strength inside of Afghanistan. Here's what's not working. He is not deterring Putin from destroying the great people of the Ukraine. God bless Ukraine and damn Putin to hell. And he is not deterring China for being provocative in Asia. And he's about to do a deal with a, a religious Nazi called the Ayatollah. This NATO summit can be a disaster or it can be a resounding success, depending on what happens. If NATO right. will tell Putin with clarity, if you use chemical weapons, we will establish a no-fly zone. If you explode a nuclear device inside of Ukraine, we'll consider that attack on NATO itself because the radiation will flow throughout Europe. And tell China right now, before it's too late, that if you keep giving aid to Putin, we will sanction you, and here are the sanctions. Okay, so I want to know specifically. Now, what bothers me is this is in, in our NATO allies' backyard, and I want them to right. do more and step up faster. But we also have to lead the way. And by the way, I actually agree with Rand Paul. I think at some point down the line, Ukraine should pay us back for every weapon we give them. Find a way to pay us back, but we don't need payment up front. Um, but without those weapons, they cannot defend their country. It seems like they're barely hanging on by a thread here, but they're on the precipice potentially of pushing Putin not only back, but out of their country. Well, they're taking back territory on the ground. The big vulnerability for the Ukrainians is that the Russians dominate the skies. Where are the S-300s? Uh, this is day 28. Biden told us two weeks, three weeks before the invasion is going to happen. Why didn't you start flowing weapons into Ukraine before the invasion? Now, 28 days later, they still don't have the mix that Poland's willing to transfer. They still don't have the S-300 system that can knock down a bomber. So Biden has not been all in. He assumed that Putin would win and the Ukraine would lose, and he can't embrace the idea that Ukraine can win. I embrace it. I disagree with Rand Paul. You know, the Ukrainian people have paid back the whole friggin' war world by standing up to this thug, Putin, and standing up for democracy against a dictator. They have sacrificed. They have lost their cities. They have lost their children. So they don't owe me a damn thing. Here's what we owe them. Everything we can give them, we should give them. If there's chemical weapons dropped on these brave people by Putin, we should declare a no-fly zone because that's a breach of every protocol in the world. And if he explodes a nuclear device inside of Ukraine to scare the world off, we should consider that an attack on NATO because it would infect all of Europe. So let's get tough with this guy. If NATO is not clear about what we will do regarding chemical weapons and the use of nuclear weapons, this summit will be a failure. You know, I, I got to tell you, it's not that difficult. It's not that hard. Stinger missiles turned the tide and the Mujahideen defeated the former Soviet Union uh, at a time when nobody thought they could be defeated. Uh, the Nicaraguan Freedom Contras, right. they made incredible gains against the Sandinistas and Ortega. Yeah. At this point in time, it seems like the weaponry is critical. And if it's not given in a timely manner, uh, what's happening at Mariupol uh, is only the beginning to Ukraine, in my view. Last word. Uh, Ukraine can win. Biden doesn't believe they can win. He always thought Putin would roll over the Ukraine. Zelensky and the Ukrainian people threw a wrinkle in the Biden plan. I smell a sellout. I smell pressure on Zelensky to basically do some kind of deal to give half his country to Putin. That would make me sick to my stomach. Here's the last word. Let's do more when it comes to controlling the skies in Ukraine by giving the Ukrainians the ability to do it. And NATO needs to stand up to Putin and tell him what will happen if you use chemical weapons or a nuclear weapon. And we we need to tell China, if you help Putin, you do so at your own peril. I watched your exchange with uh, Judge uh, Johnson, uh, Jackson, rather, earlier today. Jackson, and uh, yeah. it was rather heated. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm gathering, guessing that as of now, you're a no on that confirmation. Am I correct? Stand by. Senator, did you hear the question? You'll be the first to know. Y yeah, you'll be the first to know. Stay tuned. I, I'm guessing from that exchange, I, I'm pretty good at my, my, my guesses. It sounds like you're a no based on that exchange today. Uh, are you at least leaning heavily no? Just, stay, just you say that. Let's put it this way. I think I know why demand justice saw her in such a favorable light after two days of these hearings. Stay tuned. All right. I'll put you in the no call. Senator Graham, thank you for being with us.